Hey there everyone, Spazzy Dragon here. Welcome to my questions and answers part whatever the hell of this is. As you can today, today is 4 in the morning Monday. I can't sleep, so let's do a video. And let's have some smooth, jazzy stuff in the background. Fair enough. So today's question comes from a lot of players in very different types, uh, very different ways to say it. And uh, essentially the question is the same, and essentially the answer is the same. And uh, the best way how I can formulate the question for you guys is... Um, what is the end game of Discovery Freelancer? Like, when do you max out, so to speak, in Discovery Freelancer? When do you know that you are not a newbie anymore, and, uh, you know, what is the maximum level? Okay, so, first of all, Discovery Freelancer, what exactly is it? Oh, hello there, nuclear devices, which probably sell in Sigma-13, which are obviously worth li little. Okay, so what exactly is Freelancer when it comes to game? It is, for us, a role-playing game. We are role-playing on the roleplay server, but essentially this is a space simulator slash PvP simulator slash economy sim. Um, the whole idea about having some sort of end level you need to obtain to call yourself, you know, one of us, one of us, is something that we as gamers these days uh, really associate more with, uh, you know, MMORPGs, for example, World of Warcraft, where you have a certain maximum level where, uh, at least most people say that, when you hit that level, the game opens up and as a maxed out character, you can do whatever the big boys want to do, like there's... Uh, instantly there's a tons of stuff you can do, like participate in raids, uh, hero quests, um, whatever, I haven't played uh, World of Warcraft much myself, but that's the idea. But uh, applying the same mentality to Freelancer, especially Discovery Freelancer, is not really that good, because first of all, uh, we are really far away in terms of players to be an MMO, but even more so, we are not really a RPG. Now, I'm uh, in the game, so I, I, I can't really open the Wikipedia right now, but you can uh, do that yourself. Go and Google, like, pause the video right now, go and Google what defines a RPG game, right? I'm gonna just, just pause the video, go do that, and yeah. So if you did that right now, you probably would have gotten an answer that an RPG is essentially a type of game where your character, as it progresses, somehow builds. Like, it starts off very weak, just like you start off in a shitty little ship, and then, as you progress through the game and acquire more experience, uh, levels, you max it out, so to speak. And obviously in these games, we have endgame content. Um, it may be, like, very different games, but the ones that I can uh, say right off the bat, uh, that I played just a little bit at least, is in fact uh, World of Warcraft, uh, Neverwinter Nights on the RPG servers, and uh, some other games. So obviously, in Freelancer, we do have a ranking system. For example, uh, this, my, this is my uh, sort of NPC piracy character. As you can see, it's rank 68, but that doesn't define how far in the game as in Freelancer as a community I am, because I've been here for almost seven years. So obviously, trying to judge a player's value through some set of numbers is obviously inherently flawed, especially here at Discovery Freelancer. Not to mention, we do have a lot of veteran players who still make really stupid mistakes, and even me, who really should know better, constantly get banned for stupid stuff, but, well, there you go. So, what exactly is, like, what level, wh when is the level where you can say that I'm a part of Discovery, I have maxed out, so to speak, okay? Well, first of all, Discovery Freelancer is two parts. There's the in-game part, which is fun as Freelancer as a game, fair enough. But Discovery Freelancer has always been about the community and your interactions with the community, and sadly that is something you simply cannot rate in terms of numbers. It just doesn't work that way. I mean, you can have 
the best ever ship, with, with the best ever loadout in game. You could have flown every single ship in the game. Uh, that's good and all, but if you're still a dickhead on the forums, then no one will like you anyway. No, no one really will see you as a good contribution to this, uh, to this discovery community as a whole. Uh, I know that many people still argue whether or not it was a good idea to unban me after my uh, Cap 8 fiasco, or uh, what to do with me now that, you know, I almost got banned again due to my DPC thing, okay? So, again, this is very hard to say, like, uh, at which point you are a good member of community or, you know, th there's no way you can actually rate that. That's something you need to figure out by yourself and just something you need to, you know, rate others with. Although, it's one of those opinions you should really keep to yourself. Okay, take a look at this. Uh, these NPCs are jumping. I'm going to F4 on him. Boom. I'm going through the gate. Now you know. Okay, ow. <clears throat> I just tugged on my microphone a little bit, sorry. Okay, so, again, so what makes you, like, what exactly is that moment for you when it comes to reaching discovery. Uh, if you ask a few vets around, including myself, then you probably will get an answer that yes, we have started off like from scratch at least a few times. I myself have done this about six or seven times now, where I had to start all over again, either because I left and gave all my stuff away, or I got rage quitted, or other reasons. And, uh, at some point, you hit the level that you know that you need. You don't need to worry about stuff anymore. You don't need to trade. You need. You don't need to mine, and that thing is pretty simple. Now, this is a very important step because, as I already said, we don't have a character progression, so to speak. Like the only thing that limits you from what you fly is pretty much your bank. So, the more money you have, the more bank you have. Remember this because this is uh, pretty much what I'm going to tell you right now. So, for me, personally, is that moment where I play with a lot of people, uh, usually on, either on Skype or TeamSpeak. I really, really rarely play, uh, play the game alone these days. And so, for me, uh, saying that I am maxed out on Disco is, for example, there is something going on in Bretonia, for example. I don't usually play, uh, I, I don't really play Bretonia, fair enough. But uh, if a friend of mine says, hey, you, you want to go and join that fight in Bretonia? Uh, for me, I am maxed out in Discovery if at that point I can say, yeah, sure, let me quickly set up a ship. It means that I'm financially stable enough to quickly make a ship and join in the fun, no matter what sort of uh, ship preference I have. So, for example, uh, players who mostly fly snubs, this level of quote, maxing out, is a lot lower from, uh, say, people who like to fly their capital ships. So again, this is the sort of question that only depends on what you think is your own, like, choice of level. What exactly is that you like to do on Discovery? So essentially the answer to what is maxing out on Disco means uh, it's attaining that level of comfort you need to in order to play the game with your friends. Now, again, obviously, this is just my opinion, and uh, you have all the rights to disagree with it, but again, this is uh, something I actually asked about a few people, and that is pretty much the answer I get these days. For example, what keeps you in Discovery Freelancer? Well, the people in it, of course. I mean, for all the new stuff they added over the time, and all the doodads and doohickeys, and oh, fair enough, jump trading fun, POBs are fun, cloaks are annoyingly fun, but again, it's only fun as long as you have the uh, people to, you know, enjoy with. So I'm just gonna take this plutonium, because why would ALG need plutonium? Yeah, how about you don't take that trade lane and please don't anger the, all the other bases. So yeah, that's a pretty much my usual answer to this sort of question. And uh, hopefully for you, you are going to, you know, find your own answer to this. It's a very commonly asked question, and that's the sort of thing that uh, you can sip through my old videos and every once in a while you will find someone uh, asking that. 
Oh, by the way, plutonium apparently is in fact worthless, and I'm I'm really too lazy to actually go to New Berlin because that's what three jumps away. Ah, screw that. And uh, yeah. This was my questions and answers. Uh, I realized this one was a little bit vague, but again, this this is just one of those questions that you need to answer for yourself. This was Pansy Dragon from Discovery Freelancer, aka Syndromes. Have fun.